Hello again all, it's J.O.G. John of Gaia, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Breath of Fire! In this episode, we're going to take on the goddess herself. Since last time, I went to the inn and healed up because I am definitely going to need to be able to turn into Agni two times. Remember that, that is key. You're going to have to do it twice. Not just once, twice to get the ending, but well, to get the good ending, that is. Uh, unless you can defeat it without Agni, in which case I would very much like to see it. Please leave it as a video response. Uh, but otherwise, you're going to need to be able to turn into Agni twice, which means you're going to need at least 120 AP. Uh, that reminds me, while I'm here, I might as well just use up all my potions on Ryu here. Not that it matters anymore. Yeah, it, it doesn't even matter. I mean, you can use those on whoever you like. It, it makes no difference at all. Uh, but what you should have is you should have, I would say, a good five cures in your invent should do you. An M drop will also be very useful. Uh, what does cure two do? Covers off, yeah, cure twos as well. Uh, anything like that that fully recovers HP is pretty much going to be mandatory in this fight. This fight is ridiculously tough, uh, unless you have Agni, of course, in which case it's merely a yeah spam. Spam, 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 spam. That's basically all it is going to be. Uh, just like the last two boss fights, which is a shame. It kind of ruins the intensity of the game. But that's the way it has to be. That's the way it has to be. Uh, also, uh, in the beginning of the fight, absolutely, absolutely make sure Khan is not fused. And uh, if needs be, change him to another character. In this case, I'm going to put Ox in, uh, Blue in, just for HP purposes. Uh, not because I prefer these characters in any way, but you have to have four unfused characters in order to make... You have to have all the characters unfused in order to let Agni, because he absorbs all the rest of the characters, essentially, to create it. So, yeah. And here we go. We're going to be facing the goddess herself. So, listen to this music. It's amazing. <laughs> We are on our way to face God! There she is. Very important. You should be fully healed, ready to go, all your best equipment on. Let's do this! What do you want? Did you come here to have a wish granted? No, I did not. I came here to kick your ass. If you come for a wish, then why are you here? Why do you have your sword out? <laughs> oh, Ryu, what are you doing? Are you ready to fight? Indeed. There's a crying girl there. Okay, first thing. Absolutely, just turn into Agni. There he is. The god himself. Oh yeah. Agni. Attack. Slam. And that's the first form. Defeated. You can't challenge me to a fight! You're only humans! I'll destroy you all! I don't believe this! Aw oh, crap. And here we face the evil goddess, Tia. This is why we need Agni twice. We have to do it for the first form and the second form in order to get the correct ending. Or at least the ending I want for this game. Here we go. does kind of ruin the intensity of the music, is beautiful, but it would just take way too long if I was to wait for everything, so of course I am going to speed things up a little bit, because look how much HP she's got. Oh, no, she hasn't got a big HP bar, but she's got a massive after HP bar. It's ridiculous. I think I think it's going to take me at least five full levels of health uh, with using cures with Agni in order to beat her, something like that, something stupid, ridiculously hard. So yeah, this is what the fight's going to be like for the next few minutes. But, luckily I have some speed up function available to me. So let's do that. Just wait till I'm in the 200 health points. Right, okay, let's slow it down a bit now. I want to make sure that I've got, I don't speed through and end up killing myself. I should be able to last one more turn here. Yeah, she has infinite MP if you didn't know. Okay, now I definitely want to be healing this turn. Use a cure on myself. She's going to go first. Yeah, kill me please. This will do about 70 damage. 
Yeah, 70 damage exactly, and I heal to full health. And restart the process. As I say, this is an unfortunate final boss. It takes away from all the intensity, like when we fought the Gremlin all that time ago and things. You know, those awesome bosses that used to kick our ass. But this boss is surprisingly simple and rather irritatingly annoyingly simple. So, like, once again, we want to do another cure. See how much HP she's got? I'm doing 999 with every attack. Shit! Hoo, 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 hoo. Damn, that could have that spelled disaster right there. Once again, start the process. In fact, I'm going to heal when I'm at 200 HP this time. That way, Slab has no chance of killing me. Right. And there you go. 10 experience points and 12 GP. She's worth no experience whatsoever, but it is good fun. You can't win, humans. This is only temporary. I shall return. And I will just kill you again. Yeah, come on. Fly us away! Silence fills the room. I'm proud of you, Ryu. You turned the tables on the goddess of destruction. You and your companions completed the mission of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed, so I have no regrets in leaving you. Wait! The mute talks. Goodbye, Ryu. You made me proud. You are a true warrior. Dragon Lord, you have done well. I remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. It's finally over. It's about damn time. There is still much work for you. You must help those who lost much during the war. Can't we take a break? A real hero doesn't quit until the job is done. We're making history. We'll all be legends someday. That's right. Oh, don't forget, you still owe me money. Gobi? Gobi! Again with the money! Is he worthy of hero status? Let's go. Nina, we should return to the castle. The king is waiting. Still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king that I'll return when I am ready. And here we have it, viewers. Yes. As I have said before, this is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. I do love this game so much. Spin, old man! Spin! Yes, this game is amazing. Woo! Mogu going the opposite way. <laughs> Look us all in a line. Where's Mogu? Blue. Ox is gone. Oh yeah, that's right. We're dropping people off, of course. And there's a baby. Gobi's off to his village or his underwater city and whatnot. See you later, man. Car, no. To be the king of the thieves. Where's Bo going? Ah, back to Tantar. And of course, Ryu and Nina.
Back to our homeland. Hey, there's some rebuilding going on at last in Drogon. About the damn time. And into the sunset we go, king of the world, yes! And there is Sarah. Ah, Sarah. Your memory shall live on in the king of the warriors in fact. Breath of fire! So yeah, this game was awesome. I loved it. Plan a bamboo, apparently. I didn't know bamboo could plan. Batunur. Batunori. Batunuri. Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this game was amazing. I definitely give the soundtrack a good 9 out of 10. Unfortunately, the last few boss battles let it down because of Agni and the basic strategy that you have to use Agni, otherwise you're screwed. So that's a shame, that really depletes from it. But otherwise, the epicness of this game is a good, like, 8. I give it a good 8 out of 10. Tell me what you thought about this Let's Play. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you thought it was crap. Uh, of course, all comments are welcome. Please criticise me in any way. If I can improve in any way, shape or form, that is a good thing. And, uh, yeah. Soon to be on to the next one. Of course, my next Let's Play will be Pokemon Silver. That will be resumed within a day or two of this episode going out. So that will be awesome. Can't wait to do that. And also feel free to recommend some games to me. Haha, <laughs> that's Sarah's Dragon. Or Sarah the Dragon, whatever you want to call it. Fishman! Hello, Fishman. Simmies. Mats. I love this music, it's well good. I don't think we heard this tune anywhere else in the game. And if we did, I don't remember it, so I apologise. No! No! Damn you, screensaver. That ruined everything. Ugh. Kanakon, game programmer. Noriko. Yeah, there's Jade and his ugliness. Sunchan. Sunchan, huh? Throw that axe, throw that axe, throw that axe. Sleeper. That's a blaze. I don't like blazes. Blazes kill me. They annoy me. Crab. Haha! -ha! I attacked you with my pincer of doom. <sighs> but yes, yes, this game has been awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It took way too long for me to up it. I lost my motivation halfway through the Let's Play, which is a shame for it, because this game deserved better than me. But I have Let's Played it now. It is finished. It is done. I have thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you have too. Says the people. Thanks for playing! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. And and of course, Ryan and Nina got it off. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Can we do anything? Hello? Is there anything extra to be done? Aha! Uh -huh. To be continued! And I may well play this next game if you uh, know what I mean, viewers. Licensed by Nintendo! Yes. And I want to see if we got any clearness. Probably not. Come on. So yes, that is the end of Breath of Fire 1! 
Be aware that eventually, sometime in the future, I will do Breath of Fire 2, and I will thoroughly enjoy that game as well. Now, where are we? Oh, we're back here, where I last saved it. So yes, that was the end of Breath of Fire. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next game. This is JOG John of Gaia signing off. See you next time.